Alright guys, how's it going? A new age here with some more showdown and ladder and sessions and today we're we're just chilling. We're chilling with the uh, Scar Feromosa team I found. Uh, I haven't used Feromosa yet, so we'll see what it's like to uh, sweep with this Pokemon. We got Adamant Choice Scar, that's awesome. 410 attack, once it gets a kill, damn, that's gonna be strong. Uh, but we got Adamant, Max Attack, Scar Feromosa. Uh, this team is really defensive, which I really like. Um, basically, it's meant to wear down uh, the opponent with like defensive Pokemon, and then sweep at the end with Veramosa. So we have Spikes, um, we have Toxic Spikes, we have Spore, that's really cool. Um, I don't see a way to get rid of Hazards other than Rapid Spin, which is fine. Uh, it just sucks that Rapid Spin is also on our Sweeper, because it's like we can't really come into Rapid Spin, but um, our team, yeah, our team is pretty weak to Hazards too. Uh, but we have uh, Shinotic. I don't know how to say that right, but also I don't care. Uh, nice and Spadef Mon, which is really cool. 316 is not bad. Um, along with a physically defensive Toxapex, so we have some nice coverage right here. Um, we have a good Volt turn with uh, Choice Specs, Magnezone, and Feramosa. And then we have an AV Alolan Muck, which I haven't had a chance to use Alolan Muck yet. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it because it gives me trouble a lot. So being able to use it would be really cool. And then we have a Shed Shell Skarmory with Spikes and Whirlwind, which Whirlwind will be fun with, say, like uh, Toxic Spikes and stuff too. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the team. Let's see if we can get us a game. All right, we found a game against a, not bad, Tapu Lele, Zygarde, um, I don't really have anything for Zygarde. Actually, I have a, a, um, Effect Spore and Strength Sap, so that would be kind of cool. Yeah, actually, Shinotic I think is a, a good counter to, uh, or at least a good check to Zygarde. It's specially defensive, not physically, but... We resist like all its moves. So let's see. I don't know what he wants to lead with here. If he wants to lead, uh... I'm wondering if he wants to lead with Skarmory. I also don't want him to try and lead Zygarde. I don't think he will, but if he does, that puts me in a bad position kind of, but I'm gonna lead Magnezone as he does lead Skarmory. So if he is, uh... <laughs> If he's not Shed Shell, then we trap him right away. Um, so if that's the case, we are Specs, so Hidden Power Fire will be able to 2 it KO him. So I think I'd want to go for that. In case he is Shed Shell. Yeah, he is. Okay. That's fine. Good to know. And now he's going to go for what? A water move or a ground move? I don't want him to poison me either. Um... Let's see. That also could be sub-disable Slazzle, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Um, I actually really want to go into my own Skarmory. It can't be poisoned. I don't actually mind the burn on it. Um, especially with the nerf to it. <clears throat> and I want to get up some hazards. If he's going to be switching around a lot, which it looks like he will with all the immunities and kind of different type coverage he has. So we'll see what he wants to do. I'm gonna start the timer. See if we could stay on point with these games today. As he pulls a double into Salazzle. So uh, nice on his part. We do have Muck though, which I'm pretty sure just kind of handles this thing. Um, and Toxapex too, honestly. I think yeah, I think I'd rather go into Muck than Toxapex, because Muck can hit him with the knockoff. I'd want to get rid of this thing's item. Whether it's like Life Orb or... Uh, I hope it's not Life Orb, but we are Assault Vest. So he actually goes for the Taunt. <clears throat> Who would I have in there? Skarmory? Why would I stay in with Skarmory? It's not happening. So we get to go for a knockoff now. And I don't think anything on his team really appreciates a knockoff. So we'll see what he wants to do. Alright, so I could kind of get an idea of 
how this guy's playing. We'll want to get some predictions going sometime soon. Or at least when we think it's necessary. Because he's he's definitely going for some uh, some switches here. Being a little, a little clever, a little shady. So, I think he's trying to figure out who he wants to switch into a knockoff. If he's taunt, I don't know if he's sub disable. Cause sub disable, that'd mean he only have one attacking move. It's either poison or fire. So he chooses to go out in a buzz wall. So we get to knock off that thing's choice band. Not bad. And we poison him with the poison touch. Awesome. And uh, since he's choice banded, I know he definitely has earthquake. So we're gonna go out into Skarmory here. He might predict that, but it doesn't really matter. Cause the only thing he has that's good against Skarmory is uh salazzle which we have like two switch-ins for so i really don't mind if he wants to switch here getting the poison off was really nice and we know he doesn't have sub or anything if he is choice banded so he's gotta have like earthquake leech life um whatever fighting move and ice punch okay and he freezes my skarmory well okay Honestly, did not expect that to happen. Um, once again, man, see this, this makes it so I don't really have a switch for, uh, I don't have anything to phase out Zygarde now, which is not good. But I'm gonna attempt to defrost here because I really need to. Yep, see? Okay, and I can't let this thing just set up on me either. Man. Does this thing run Lumberry? Or is it leftovers? I don't remember. I think I'm just gonna go hard into Shyantic. Or Shinotic. Someone tell me how to say that. Oh let's see. Then lowers the target's attack stat. I'm gonna go for Moonblast here, because I could definitely break the sub. Um, what I want to do is break the sub and then be able to Strength Sap him, because I can lower his attack. So if he wants to attack me here, he can. If he wants to stay behind a sub, he can do that too. I'm hoping I don't take too much from this, because I'm a... Uh... Okay, yeah, we're fine. We also have effects. Uh, effect spoiler there too, so if he really wants to hit us, he can, but I'm just gonna go for a Moonblast here. If he wants to hit us, by all means, but if he subs, he's gonna be taking damage. I, I want effect spoiler to kick in with something, especially after he got the freeze on me, because otherwise he couldn't go Zygarde here, because I could easily just phase him out. So he's gonna go into Skarmory now. Um, I'm not defensive, so... Hmm. I would love to go out into my own Skarmory, but you know. I'm gonna go Toxapex here. I don't know if he's gonna predict that or something. Um, yeah, he's just gonna get up Spikes. Um, I wanna get up a layer of Toxic Spike. He might go straight out into Salazzle, but. Getting the Toxic Spike up. For one, forces out Salazzle, which again, forces like a knockoff or something from Muck. Uh, but also, let's see. But also getting the Toxic Spike up is good for Zygarde. I don't like that we don't really have a way to get rid of hazards. I'm gonna go for a Scald though. See if we could get a burn on Skarmory. And that does a decent amount too. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going for Scald. If he wants to switch in uh, Gastrodon, then fine. Yeah, so we get the burn on him there. I'm gonna go for another Toxic Spike. Because this will work, especially if he goes out into Salazzle now. I don't think he's the subset. Yeah, he's he's just gonna whirlwind me. Okay. Um, I'm fine with this switch as well. Because... Yeah, I think I just wanna go for Flash Cannon. Because Skarmory can't touch me still. Um, and if he goes out to Gastrodon, it gets toxic, so... And takes Flash Cannon. 
so I'm definitely okay with this. He doesn't really have a switch for Flash Cannon either. This is his switch, but it's not going to take it well either. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, so he stays in. We go out into our own Skarmory. Um, I'm going to attempt to defrost while he roosts on me. And now I'm going to try and go for Whirlwind. I mean, I have a 20% chance each turn, so, you know, it would be nice. Hey, there we go. All right, Skarmory is back in it, people. Skarmory is back in it. So he's actually a similar set to what I am. So thankfully we defrost there. I also realized, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, what did he ice punch on earlier? Was it my Skarmory? No, I switched into Skarmory and then he ice punched. Cause if he, I was gonna say, if he stayed into ice punch on Skarmory, that thing dies to Bravebeard. But let's see what he wants to do here. So Skarmory is back in, which is really nice. Um, Unfortunately, the hazards are an issue. I'm honestly thinking... I want to go Toxapex here. Be just because I have Regenerator, so it makes the dam and Recover, so it makes the damage from Spikes not as bad, whereas Muck doesn't really have those options. So he's going to go for Toxic, Poison Me. I honestly forgot that uh, Salazzle had that ability. TBH. Um... But we're going to go for another Toxic Spike here. See what he wants to do. I... You know, I should have realized that too. But I was just expecting him to go for the Fire move. So Gastrodon's going to come out. We get one of one layer of Toxic Spikes up. Um, I just want to go Feromosa and Rapid Spin. I really want to... I don't feel like Feromosa can really sweep in this game. Just because basically the whole team resists bug and fighting to some extent. So it doesn't put us in the best situation. I'd rather use it to rapid spin for the rest of the team. Unfortunately, their team is kind of stally too, so. Alright, so he goes for Ice Beam. Thankfully, it does not freeze us now. And we're just going to go for rapid spin. So I really want to get rid of these hazards. As he just goes out into his own Skarmory, that's fine. Um, hmm. Let's see. So we can actually go Magnezone here if we want to. Or you can go Muck. Yeah, I'm gonna go Muck because that stops uh, Zygarde, or that forces in Zygarde and keeps Salazzle out, which I don't mind forcing in Zygarde. Oh wait, Zygarde is already... Oh no, it's not. Which one is Poison? Oh, uh, Buzzwell. Okay, so yeah, forces in Zygarde, which will then get Poison, which I'm fine with. So I'm gonna go for Knockoff here, see who he wants to go out into. He can go Salazzle, but Salazzle will not appreciate that, and I'll still have the spike up. So he decides to go Buzzwell, and I mean he definitely has Earthquake, but yeah, and Shadow Sneak I doubt will knock it out from this range. So I'm just gonna go Skarmory. He could actually double here. He could double into something like Salazzle, I think. I'm wondering how useful Toxapex is to me. It's honestly not very useful, so I'd rather double into Toxapex, risking the Earthquake, and then catching Salazzle than anything else. He actually goes for Leech Life. Okay. So we got Toxapex in, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I just want to go for Scald. I don't mind if he goes into Gastrodon. I really don't care. I'm pretty sure Buzzwell will die next time it comes in. Anyways. As he just goes for the Earthquake, we get to knock this thing out. I guess I should have gone for a cover, but if he would have switched, like... I guess that was... Yeah, no, I wanted to hit something if he brought something in, you know? And I do have Regenerator and Recover, so... And Skarmory is good now, so I'm not as worried about Zygarde coming in. And that's what I'm saying, I want Zygarde to come in, because it'll 
get status. And the same goes for Tapu Lele too. Which I still have decent switches to, like Magnazone. Or at least I would hope Magnazone is a decent switch. I don't know how much it takes from Psychic to be honest. So he's gonna go out into Salazzle here um, to get the Toxic Spikes off. And I know he has Taunt, so I actually wanna go for Scald first, expecting him to taunt me. Because he wants to keep the Toxic Spikes up, and I wanna get damage off on this thing. Actually, is Taunt the best player going straight into Muck? I think straight into Muck because his knockoff, he has to have a different knockoff switch now. And Muck also takes an attack. I can't get up Toxic Spikes here and I also can't recover at the risk of him going for Taunt. So he actually doubles into Zygarde. Um, unfortunately. I mean, we have Skarmory. Actually, I don't think Skarmory is a good answer. I I think I'm just going to go for Armosa here. Because if he goes for the ground move, I can sack it. And if he goes for sub, then I can break it. I actually want to know how much I can do with U-turn. If I can break his sub. Actually, no, I'm just going to stay in and keep going for a... Uh, Actually, I want to know if Lunge breaks the sub then, too. Because I was going to say I'll just stay in and keep going for high jump kick, but I'd rather go for Lunge if that'll break the sub. I don't want to risk it. For Amosa versus Zygarde. Let's see. Adamant. Lunge. Lunch is 31 to 37. That's to a defensive set, or especially defensive set. If he's more defensive, I it does still look like I break it, so I'm gonna go for that. He goes for extreme speed. That's right. Okay, but I'm okay with that because my thing is I didn't want to switch Skarmory into a thousand arrows because then he could hit me with the next one and knock me out. So getting that's why I stayed in with Feromosa because now I get a free switch and I can whirlwind him. So, yeah, and Thousand Arrows is going to do nothing the first turn, so I can take that just fine. Unfortunately, uh, he gets dragged out into Salazzle, which I really don't like. Um, this team is pretty... Well, see, Muck is a good answer to Salazzle, and so is Toxapex, but since he has Zygarde, that doesn't work out very well for me. I feel like I have to save this thing because it's my only like really good earthquake switch in that I have left. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna go Toxapex here. I have to keep sacking Pokemon to uh, damn that did a lot. To uh, I'm gonna go for Scald. I'm I'm not clicking status moves because I know he has Taunt. And he can't really go Gastrodon because if he just goes hard into Gastrodon, then that gives me Toxic Spikes and Recovery. So, I really wish I could get rid of this thing's Black Sludge because the spike is not weakening it because it keeps staying in. So he goes out into Skarmory here. And he can get his Hazards up, but I think... I want to get up one Toxic Spike and then go hard into Muck. I don't know how many hazards he's going to try and set up here, but... Yeah, so we're going to go into Muck now. Because, again, that forces in something like Salazzle and then gives me the knockoff. And then also we have this Toxic Spike up again. I don't know if he would Whirlwind right here. Yeah, he's just going to go for Roost. Okay. So we get some recovery on Toxapex, and now we can knock off um, whether it's Skarmory's... Actually, Skarmory has a Shed Shell on it, so if we knock that off, then he can't switch against Magnazone anymore. And nothing he really has wants to get knocked off. Okay, so we get rid of the Shed Shell, 
on that. Um, and I think I think I want to just knock off again, expecting him to switch. Maybe I could see him switching because if he doesn't switch now, he does get trapped by Magnezone. And he might be thinking my plan is to just knock out um, Skarmory now, which is a good idea, but honestly, Zygarde is like my main concern at the moment. This is a really long first battle. Like, too long. Alright, let's see. Let's see what he wants to go for. Come on, bro. Alright, so he does switch into Salazzle. Nice. So we get to knock off that thing's item and... Salazzle is gone now, so that uh, makes things a lot easier because now my Shinotic and Skarmory can just focus on Zygarde, although he does get the switch into Zygarde here. Hmm. I'm thinking that I actually want to stay in. Okay, so he has leftovers. He doesn't have a Lumberry. So... Hmm. I think I want to stay in and go for knockoff. If he wants to knock me out, fine. But I don't want to risk this thing setting up a sub on me. And if he goes for a sub here, then that puts him in a bad position. Because he can't sub again, I don't think. Yeah, so he just chooses to knock me out. That's fine. Um, I'm kind of scared that I'm going to lose to Tapu Lele at this point. Let's see. I don't know who the good switch to go into is. I kind of think it's Skarmory. Yeah. I'm going to go Skarmory here. Because I need to whirlwind him out and then try and roost. And maybe I can get up more hazards after that. I don't think I can beat Zygarde. I really don't. And the scary part is, is if I whirlwind him into... Tapu Lele, I think I just die to it. Okay. Actually, he might have Earth Power on this thing, but kind of had to risk that anyways. Let's see. Now he just goes for Scald and gets a crit. That's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure he has Earth Power, unless he is like Toxic Recover, but I doubt it because he has Lazzle. I don't know why he'd have two, like, toxic stall Pokemon. And another scary thing is, if he goes, like, Zygarde now, he could just knock me out. Yo, what? Can you stop critting me? What the hell? This dude just got two crits in a row. That's not cool. And then the turn he doesn't crit me, he's going to burn me. Yep, there it is. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to start going for spikes. I'd rather just get all of my layers of spikes up because that'll help to damage Zygarde even more to where it might not be able to make a sub. It'll actually have just enough to make a sub, which sucks. I don't know if he's gonna try and switch right here. I wish my Shinotic had uh, some kind of recovery. I mean, it has Giga Drain, but that's it. Doesn't it get like, it gets Moonlight. Yeah, that would be really nice. I honestly can't even get a Spore in because of Skarmory. If Skarmory wasn't around, I could Spore and put something to sleep. I also can't Spore because Zygarde is faster than Shinotic. So we're going to get up our last spike here. And 
We should be faster than this thing. I'm hoping we are. If he has speed, he can outspeed us for sure, but... I really need the Giga Drain. I need some kind of HP on this thing. Even though I'm expecting Skarmory. Yeah. Well, actually, no, he's burned. Okay. So... I'm gonna go for a Strength Sap. Because his attack is already bad, so I don't think he can knock me out. I'm just hoping he doesn't do too much. I don't think he would Brave Bird here. I feel like he's gonna expect me to switch and get up more uh, hazards. Oh no, he just whirlwinds. Wait, is that how Strength Sap works? It doesn't do damage? It heals me by like half their HP like that? Okay. Um, if that's the case, I'm going for Toxic Spike here. Actually, should I? Or is Scald my better play? Because if he goes Zygarde and I Scald, then he can't uh, make a sub. I'm gonna Scald. Yep. 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 Your boy can't make a sub. Can we get the burn? Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so your boy can't Scald or sub. Um, I honestly don't think he knocks me out. He has leftovers too. Hmm. Is it better for me to scald here or recover? I think it's better for me to recover than go out into Shinotic. Yeah. So we get a bunch of HP, we take some Toxic, and then we get Regenerator. And we go out into Shinotic. Alright, so Zygarde is nullified. And... I'm just gonna Moonblast. If he wants to go Skarmory, he can, but it's... It's not an issue anymore. Alright. It's still sketchy. I still don't know what the damage is like for Tapu Lele. It might even be able to knock out, like, my Magnezone. And I don't know what he wants to go for here. Oh yeah, Strength Step doesn't do damage, it just lowers the attack. Hmm. I'm still gonna go for Strength Step. Because if he wants to Whirlwind me out, that's better than... Yeah. Okay, good. See, this is what I wanted to be out into, was Toxapex. Um, and... I'm actually gonna go for Toxic Spikes as opposed to uh, trying to weaken Skarmory. Because the thing that's really stopping me from beating Skarmory now is Gastrodon. So what happens here is if I get up a Toxic Spike and then he Whirlwinds me out, then I get the damage off on him. It is better for him to have gone Tapu Lele here. And I think I just have to let him knock me out now. I'm going to go for another Toxic Spike though, just to see. Yeah, okay. So, I really want to see... Uh, this thing is definitely faster, so I can't tell if it's... Scarfed or... Specs yet. What? Alright, so Psychic... Magnazone... 31 to 43. Damn. Alright, if he's specs, he actually knocks out my Magnazone. If he's not specs, he doesn't knock me out. But what's my Shinotic set? 208, 248, calm. I don't know what the 208 is for. Oh my gosh, Psychic straight up knocks me out. 
All right, so I have no switch here. Um, basically, I have to hope that he is scarfed. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like I knew potentially losing to uh, to Tapu Lele was a thing, but honestly, there wasn't anything I could do about it. Um, so if he's choice scarf. He does not knock me out 100%, especially if he's Timid Scarf. If he's Timid Scarf, then yeah, I'm gonna go for Flash Cannon. This is what it comes down to. As he actually goes, mm, that might have been an even better play. But the thing is, if I get him down, okay. Hmm. I have to, what do I have to do here? I'm going Shinotic here for sure. As he misses the Toxic, which is pretty amazing. All right, here's, hmm. Cause I needed to get him to where he doesn't have Psychic Terrain up because now he will knock me out after the Spikes damage. So I'm pretty sure that's a wrap. As he has Ice Beam, it doesn't matter. We knock him out. Yeah, we we lose to Tapu Lele. Actually, a Toxic Spike might have been bad for me because if he was uh, if he was scarfed, then we could have put him to sleep and lived. So I'm going to go for the Strength Sap here, just to be able to weaken him so he can't like knock us out or anything. And I'm just going to fire off Moonblast because if he whirlwinds me out then Skarmory dies, but it doesn't really matter. I'm thinking because if he goes into Tapu Lele we can potentially get a special attack drop. The thing that sucks is he gets really low too. I think I would rather have like Scarf Magnezone than Specs, to be honest. But I'm gonna go for, I'm just gonna keep going for Moonblast. Cause he doesn't have that many roosts left either. I think I wanna change this to Scarf. As he goes for the Brave Bird, but that does nothing because we lowered his attack so much. And we get a crit right there. That's really cool. It All of this doesn't matter, though, if he's uh, Specs. So I'm just going to Strength Sap again, expecting him to Roost. And then we lower his attack even more. So Brave Bird will do even less. So Shinotic should be able to st uh, stall this thing out. It's actually... <laughs> Really cool that Shinotic can stall out a Skarmory. I mean, it's 100% thanks to the burn as well, but still works out really well. I'm sorry that it's such a long game. This is gonna be a long life then. I think it's just the nature of this team is very like bulky too, so it kind of happens, you know? All right, so we go for the Moonblast again. And he just went for Roost. I'm going to keep going for Moonblast because if he tries to go out into Tapu Lele, we can get a special attack drop. That would be like what we'd need, I think. And keeping this at full uh, gives me a chance to survive if he's um, Scarf instead of Specs. If he's Specs, then we die. He can't stall me out though. He only has eight Roosts left. Him stalling me out of Moonblast is potentially something, but also him taking the recoil from Brave Bird is nice. And we do get a special attack drop there. Um, I'm gonna go for another Moonblast. Yeah, because all the turns that he takes to Roost, he, he just gives me more recovery, so. I actually wanna go for another Strength Sap here. 
I hope he doesn't switch now. Okay, yeah. I want to lower his attack to where Brave Bird is like... Okay, he whirlwinded me. Yeah, I don't know why he hadn't done that earlier, actually. Um, so, here's the thing. I get knocked out either way. So, my best play... Yeah, my best play is to just Thunderbolt here. Knock out Skarm. And have Shinotic as as much at as much health as possible, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. We got Tapu Lele so low too. That really sucks. So he will get to knock us out here with the Psychic. Uh, unfortunate. I'm pretty sure Shinotic's Giga Drain doesn't do enough. Let's see. 23 to 28, and I don't have any special attack investment. Yeah. So, pretty sure that won't do enough to knock it out after like Toxic and stuff. He might just be calcing like psychic damage. He definitely knocks us out. Yeah. So he's at 38. How much does Moonblast do? Will that do any more? 29 to 35. Timid Scarf Psychic actually still knocks us out, so. Or, well, that's not our spread. Let's see. So, Timid Scarf Psychic does not knock us out. And he will die after a Moonblast. So, if he's Timid Scarf, we win. If he is Modest, we lose. Oh, GG! He was Scarf! Got him! Huh. Damn. That was a good one. Oh. Huh. The Scarf Tapu Lele. We got it beat, boys. Woo! <laughs> we spent way too much time on that one game. But that was a good game. And we came out on top. So that was legit. Huh. That was ridiculous. Yo, Shinotic coming in clutch. Let's just get one more game. I know it's only going to be two, but let's see if we can at least try and get Feromosa to put in work. All right, we got a game. Uh, I don't know how much Feromosa can do here either. Honestly, if I can maybe weaken or get rid of Toxapex and then get rid of Delmize, I think uh, I think we can we can make some magic happen with uh, with Feromosa. So let's let's try that out. Let's keep that in mind. Weaken and. Get rid of Delmize. <laughs> we can talk to Pex. Get rid of Delmize. Don't forget it. Um, who is he leading with here? Is his lead Celesteela? I kind of just want to lead Magnazone. Uh, let's let's lead Magnazone. As he leads with Feromosa. Okay. You're a cool guy, aren't you? You're what they call a cool guy. I'm defensive Skarmory, right? Yeah, kinda. Who's better, Skarmory or Muck to go into? Alright, Feromosa. Let's say Adamant. High jump kick. Who takes it better? Skarmory, that's defensive. Jeez, that does a lot. Or Muck, who's, oh my gosh, who's especially, <laughs> especially defensive, 252. Jeez, okay, I guess my switch is Skarmory. Do not take that well. Who is he going out into here? What does he even have that can hit Skarmory? Other than Celesteela, I guess. And get up that spike. Mod chat. Oh. 
Who is this? This bow toy kid. Okay, so this dude definitely has like flamethrower. Hmm. Do I go Toxapex? Or do I go Muck? I don't want to take an Earthquake. I'm gonna go Toxapex. Unless he goes Tapu Lele here, then he done got me. Yeah, he went for Earthquake, but. <laughs> You know, that doesn't really matter. Cause our tax our Toxapex is beefy. Um let's get up a toxic spike. Honestly, if he wants to stay in an earthquake, please do. I can recover that if I really need to. Oh your boy missed the leech seed! Alright, we're gonna <laughs> we're just gonna go for another one then. He can go into his own Toxapex if he wants. But that just lets me go Magnazone. TBH. And here... Actually... Well, no, if he has a fire move... Actually, if he has a fire move... I'm gonna go Skarmory. Oh, he decides to go Toxapex there. Man. Alright, well... I'm gonna get up a Spike. At least that can't go away as easily. He's going Celesteela now. Uh, why does he keep going Celesteela? Like, oh, I have Flamethrower or Fire Blast. How much would that do to me? You guys think it'll do a lot? <laughs> I'm asking, I need to know. Nah, I'll go for Spike. I am not scared. Hmm. I'm gonna get up two for now. Just because if he wants to keep going Toxapex, like... Actually, he would recover that off the spike, but... It's not that big of a deal. I can't go into Magnazone because he has Earthquake and... Is not afraid to use it! But let's see. Alright, so Heavy Slam. I'm not seeing a fire move. Is that really the best he has to hit me? I'm assuming he has Protect as well. But we're gonna go for another Toxic Spike. As he goes into Delmize here. And I'm gonna go for another Toxic Spike. <laughs> so there you go. Enjoy. I'm gonna go for Scald. It's gonna Rapid Spin again. Can we burn this thing? Ah, uh, there it is. Is he leftovers? No, he's not. He has salt vest. We're gonna go for another toxic spike because now at this point, if he wants to stay in a rapid spin, he will die. Eventually, it'll take a while, but it will happen. So we're gonna go for toxic spike again. Toxapex playing no games. Toxapex is annoying. <laughs> But we got we got a muck, so. As he decides to go Tapu Lele here. See now this 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 thing is the issue. Alright, he can't go for psychic. Like he really cannot. So I'm gonna go Skarmory. He cannot go for Psychic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Chill, bro! What? Also, why is my Shinotic's special defense? What? Why is Toxapex's special defense better than Shinotic, but Shinotic is supposed to be my specially defensive Pokemon? What kind of sense does that make? I'm gonna go Toxapex again. <laughs> okay, well, taking that damage really sucked. And his Delmize can actually come in now on, uh, because he's burned. I probably should have thought that through more. I would assume he would double here, but he doesn't have to. Jeez, that does a lot. Alright, um... Kind of 
kind of just want to go for a Scald. Expecting Toxapex to come in. Or another Toxic Spike. I'm going to go for another Toxic Spike. Because then we have that up. <laughs> so whoever he goes into next catches that young status. Um, and we will be faster than Toxapex. So we're going to go out into Skarmory. And I need to roost. That is ridiculous that that did so much. That's the most specs Pokemon I've ever seen. Tapu Lele is redonkulous. Okay, so... Are we faster than this? Yes, we are. I don't think uh, Earthquake will knock me out either, so... As he doubles into Toxapex, I'm okay with that. He honestly, because it's not like he can go Delmize here. Yeah, he's gonna go Tapu Lele again. Will Psychic knock me out? I'm actually scared. I'm gonna go for Roost here, just to see what he wants to go for. Oh, he has Thunderbolt. Well. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, he really doesn't have like a good Volt Switch answer, so I'm gonna go into Magnezone. And something can catch this switch. If he wants to go down mice, he's gonna take Spike and Burn. And then I can go out into something accordingly. Because it'll get to a point where you can't get rid of the spikes. You know? So he's gonna go sell a Steela. Okay. Okay, you know. You do you, boo. Um, and Delmize is still a thing, so. And I can't actually... Muck should be able to knock this thing out, ideally. I would really hope so. 328 attack? That's not bad. Maybe I should calc this first, but... I I believe in Muck. I believe in Muck. Celesteela. Oh, it's leftovers. Okay. Never mind. Oh, it has 212 attack and is adamant. Okay. Hold up. Nope. Still doesn't knock it out. Okay. Um. And how much does Earthquake do? Okay, yeah. I'm not risking that. Um. Hmm. <laughs> That's what they call me. Okay, 136. Does he have speed? Do I even need this to switch into anything? Will I make the right play? No, I'm gonna go Toxapex. <laughs> ah! Alright, um... Nah. Me. I don't even know what I'm saying to this guy. Um, let's see. So... What do I go for here? Do I expect him to double? What do I do? I can't keep sacking things to... Feromosa. Or, well, to tap it lately. Oh, get the burn! Oh! <laughs> This man cannot hit a leaf seed. Alright. And now... Hmm. I think we go out into shiny. The shining. Oh! <laughs> Look at the plays. I'm just kidding. Is this... There's no plays. Uh, let's see. So what do I do here? 
Do I like Spore? He can't do any damage to me now. I don't know who he wants to go into. But I'm gonna Spore. Oh my gosh, that did a lot. <laughs> Should I strength set? Restores HP equal to the target's attack. Why'd that do so much? I did a lot. Well, there goes my switch to anything. I guess that wasn't the play. Oh! I got predicted. <laughs> That did nothing. Damn it. Specs Tapu Lele is a lot harder for me to deal with too. Yeah, see, this situation I'm cool with because he will die. He can rapid spin all he wants, he will die before I run out of toxic spikes. All thanks to that burn. It will take a very long time, but he will die. Even if he goes Toxic Packs, I still get up the spike. Alright, so now I have two spikes. And... I'm just gonna Scald. I mean, he can Leech Seed if he really wants to. Wow. That did nothing. Still gonna Scald. I don't know what to do. Oh, that's right, he has Protect. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna Scald again. I do feel like he would've switched. He could've switched. Not he would've, but... I feel like he's gonna go Protect again. Damn it. Hmm. I'm gonna scald here. I mean, I'm not expecting that he would keep protecting like that, but... Toxapex can stay in. I don't really mind his Celesteela getting health. It's just like an annoying Pokemon to deal with. I just need a switch on something. I mean, I do have leftovers. So, I'm gonna go Shinotic here, hope he protects, as he goes for Earthquake again. So, I think he can knock me out with a Heavy Slam. Do I risk it? I really don't want to. I'm going to. Well, cause what else would he go for? Yep, that's true. <sighs> Alright, I'm just going Magnezone. I, like, I don't care, he still gets knocked out. Did I change this to a Choice Scarf? No. Yeah. Like, he, he still gets knocked out. So, trading Shinotic for uh, Celesteela. Not really worth, but... And who do I go here? I think I go Feromosa. Yeah. He can't go into his own Feromosa. I mean, it'll get toxic. Yeah, so he has to go into Toxapex. Um, and I'm just gonna U-turn. Nice resisted hit. And then who do I go into? I think I just wanna go Magnezone and Volt Switch, cause he stayed in, so. The thing is, I think I lose to, uh, I think I might actually lose to Tapu Lele this time. Unless, like, Lunge will knock it out. But, I can freely Volt Switch here. He doesn't really have a Switch. He can go Delmize, that's his only Switch, but I'm pretty sure it dies, like, soon with the burn and everything. Um, so that being said... If I go Muck, then what does he do? Because I'd like to get Feromosa in, somehow. Because once this is gone, Feromosa can start 
giving him the business, you know? I think I want to go Muck, because I can knock him out with Shadow Sneak, and then after that, like, Tapu Lele is put in a, a position where it has to Moonblast or Psychic. If he Moonblasts, I can go Toxapex, even though I really don't want to get rid of Muck like that. Yeah, we're just going to knock this thing out. Cool, so... His Ghost Pokemon is gone. This is another long game, which I honestly don't think we're going to win. Feromosa. How much do you take from my muck? Shadow Sneak does 30%. I mean... Oh, I already checked this earlier, right? My Jump Kick does like a ridiculous amount. I mean, you'd think he has to U-turn here. And then he gets to go out in a, into Tapu Lele, go for Psychic. All that good stuff. I'm gonna expect him to U-turn. Yep. Oh my gosh, just that did a lot. Oh, he's life for Faramosa. So my Faramosa beats it with High Jump Cake. Now he has to figure out who he wants to switch into a knockoff. Damn. I was really hoping he'd go Tapu Lele. But no, that would be too easy, right? So here... Um, I think... Hmm... I think I just want to go hard into Magnezone. Yeah, as he just scalds, because I force... Like, Magnezone gets a kill now when it comes in. So, yeah, he has to sack his Toxapex. And... I think... Hmm. Since my Feromosa is Scarf, then it beats his Feromosa. So I think I want to go into Toxapex because it forces in Tapu Lele. And then even if he knocks me out, I can go Feromosa and U-turn. I don't even know if that knocks him out, but... Let's see. 252. Adamant. Tapu Lele. Lunge does half. It doesn't even knock it out. So U-turn does less. I mean, that's still nice damage if I were to say U-turn twice. I gotta remember about the priority too, I can't Shadow Sneak. So here's the thing, Tapu Lele is put in a position where it has to Psychic or Moonblast. Because I have Muck and Tapu Lele, or yeah, Muck and Toxapex. And we know he's Specs, not Scarf. So I think I want to go for Toxic Spike. Oh, that's right, he has Thunderbolt. I keep forgetting he has that. Okay, well, that's not good either, obviously. Um, but that lets me go out into Magna Zone, doesn't it? And if he predicts that and goes, okay, he doesn't. He stays in. Okay, so that doesn't knock us out, and we can go for Volt Switch again. Do I Volt Switch or Flash Cannon? Because if I Volt Switch, then I have to switch something. Well, no, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to Volt Switch. And the Toxic Spike is here to stay now. If he stays in on this Volt Switch, I think that'll put him in range of U-Turn as well. And I can possibly just win with Pheromos in the end. So now he'll get poisoned. I think this will knock him out. Yeah. So anything he has will get poisoned. Um, I'm gonna go into my Feromosa because I am Scarfed. U-turn should knock out Greninja. And it'll put Tapu Lele. Yeah, that was that was, that was was it. We got him. Feromosa didn't get to show it, but we got him because if he went Greninja, it died to U-turn. And he couldn't, uh, he couldn't even Water Shuriken because of the Psychic Terrain. If he went Tapu Lele, U-turn uh, would do at least half and then you take a turn of uh, poison, which would put him under half. So Feromosa could come in and revenge kill and just sweep with U-turn in the end. So that was GG. Feromosa would have won against those last two Pokemon if given the opportunity, but uh, he forfeited first. So we managed to pull through. Not even bad. I like it. I like it. Feromosa putting in the work. So 
Unfortunately, it was only two games, but I think that was just the nature of the team. It was definitely more of a defensive team, so the battles were going to be a little bit longer. But I really hope you guys enjoyed either way. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share the video, comment, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm new. Still keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.